guys, Brenda Rochelle French, lead designer at Snap Agency here. Today I'm going to be talking with you about how to run an A-B test in Optimizely. So real quick, I want to review um, what is an A-B test. Uh, what an A-B test is, is you have two variations of the same exact page. You have your original variation and then you have your B version or variation of something that you want to change, whether it be a button change, copy change, a form change, it doesn't matter. That is your B variation. That's the difference in A, B testing. So what is it about Optimizely that I like personally? I like Optimizely because it's a trusted brand in CRO testing. Um, they do a really great job about laying everything out really nice for people to interact with. They have a really great user interface to play around with. So that's why I use Optimizely as the tool of choice for me. Um, so real quick, let's go over the things that are important to think about when running an Optimizely test. The very first thing that you should be thinking about is the volume of traffic that you have coming to your website, specifically for the exact page that you are running a test on. So overall, traffic is nice, um, but you want to make sure that you are kind of um, focusing in on the traffic volume for that specific page. The number of visitors you actually need to gain statistical significance is actually pretty high. Um, it actually is around 10,000 visitors per month. Um, so it's a little bit higher, but I definitely think that um, lower traffic websites should be testing on a monthly basis for sure. There are some ways that you can gain statistical significance um, depending on the test that you're actually running. If it's a big impact test, then chances are you're going to gain that significance a lot more quickly. Uh, so that's something I'm going to go over real quick. We're going to go into a screen share. I'm going to kind of show you how everything works in setting up a test and optimizing. Um, but real quick before we get into that, I want to remind you guys, do not get seduced by the numbers that you're seeing. You should be reviewing your data every single week up until that monthly point, but don't get seduced yet. If it's saying that it's significant, that's the thing that matters you can gain significance within a week's time. Sometimes it's night and day. If you're making such a big layout ch change, then um, you, can, you can see that it's clearly uh, version B that wins over the original version, and, and you've gained significance right there. Um, and I'm gonna kinda go over what that looks like here in a little bit, so check it out. Here we are in Optimizely, and this is your dashboard. So you can see here all of the tests that we are currently running right here at Snap Agency right now. Um, but quickly, I just kind of want to show you how easy it is to set up a new test. So um, all you have to do really is click on New Experiment. Um, you can enter an experiment name here. So um, the test that I'm going to be doing is actually on our own site, so I'm just going to call it Snap headline and then you enter in your website URL so www.snapagency.com go ahead and create an experiment okay so once it loads in you can see that um, as you hover over elements in Optimizely they will highlight um, and it's as simple as just giving it a click and then you can kind of see your options here. You can edit the element. If you're a little familiar with HTML, um, you can go ahead and edit it, that element um, with HTML. You can edit the text um, or the classes. So you can kind of really get very, very specific with these changes directly through Optimizely. It's a very nice tool. So what we're going to be doing in this test is we're going to change out the headline to a different um, version or our version B headline. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in here and say edit text and then I will swap this out to say, we help your company profit. Save that, done. 
And then under here, edit text to say through digital marketing. Click done. Okay, so this is our very first test. So in order to test this, all we simply have to do is click on start experiment up here in the top right corner. So I'm not gonna do this because we're currently running this actual test right now. So I am going to kind of move over to what it actually looks like with the results that we've received. So here are all the tests that we're running and the headline test that we're running would be named here. So the name that you gave it when you started the test would um, be at the top of the page. So you just simply click on it to highlight it. And then if you wanted to see the results and how you're doing with this test, simply just click on results. Okay, so what we really want to focus on here with the numbers is the um, engagement. So the goal for us here is how many people are actually engaging with this test. So there's different tests that you could set up in Optimize. You can track clicks, um, you can see how many people are actually engaging with the test, and many more. Um, but really right here, the goal for us on this headline is to see the engagement. So you can see in the original version versus variation one, or AKA our B test. So 47.09% for the original and 49.66% um, conversion rate for um, variation one. So we see a 5.5% improvement in the headline change. Um, so it's, when I was talking earlier about the impact of changes, this is something that I would not consider to be a big impacting change um, test. Uh, this is something that is very kind of, um, uh, they call it micro. Um, so if you have lower traffic, what you really want to do is focus on the macro test, something that's going to be a bigger change on your homepage, whether it be layout, button changes, um, stuff like that. This is considered a micro test. So the significance of this, ch this test isn't going to be as uh, impactful, but you can see um, here uh, all the way over to the right, it's showing the significance. We have not gained significance yet for this test. Optimizely does a really good job of telling you um, when you have gained statistical significance. So don't get seduced, like I said earlier, don't get seduced by these numbers yet because this might not be um, true to the actual engagement that we're seeing from this particular test. Okay, so there's one more thing that I really wanna talk about here, and that is the snippet that needs to go into your header um, before running this test. What this does is it tells Optimizely, hey, this is what I want you to do. I want you to split the traffic to version um, B and the original version in half. So in order to do that, you go to your dashboard, you go all the way over to your settings, and here, is the snippet that needs to go in your head tag. Um, so if you are not familiar with how to do this, make sure that you collaborate with a developer, somebody knows how to code. This snippet should go um, as high in, in order or hierarchy in the head tag. The reason for this is because you don't want your users going to your website and seeing it load in the original version first. You want um, if it's going to be split off into version B, you want that version B to load in first before um, your original version. So it's very important that you, you use the, pri the proper hierarchy for this um, snippet in your head tag. That's basically it, guys. That's how simple it is to use Optimizely. Of course, you can get a lot more complex with it, but that's basically how you set up a test. So I hope this excites you. And you know, if you have a lower traffic rate, don't let that discourage you. Keep testing. Make sure you get out there and make those big, impactful changes that are really going to show you some big differences in data.